This time we are going to talk about invitations. Look, Mom, Sandra gave me an invitation for her birthday party. That's great. When is it? It's on Friday, March 22nd at her house. Do you have to bring something? Just my bathing suit. It's a pool party. That sounds fun. Do you like parties? How often are you invited to a party? There are different kinds of parties or events. Some are formal, such as a graduation or a wedding. Others are informal, like a birthday, a baby shower, or a sweet 16. But whenever there is an event, you receive an invitation. Why? Because in the card, it is written all the information you need to know. The type of event, in this case, it is a birthday party. The name of the host. Who is inviting you? Chad. The date. This will be on Saturday, April 4th. Time. From 4 to 7 p.m. The place and address. It will be at Chad's house. 5632 Mount Lake. And the RSVP. In this case, you have to call at 435 223 543 to confirm your attendance. To send a letter by mail, Write the name and address of the sender on the top left corner of the envelope. Then write name and address of the receiver on the center. And don't forget to attach a stamp on the top right corner of the envelope. Now pay attention. When you write an address in Spanish, you write the name of the street or avenue first and then the number. Calzada Tasqueña, número 1811. Then the name of the neighborhood, Colonia San Francisco Culhuacán. And finally, the zip code. Coyoacán, Código Postal, 04420. However, when you write an address in English, you begin with the number. Sin embargo, cuando escribes una dirección en inglés, comienzas con el número. Then the name of the street or avenue. 1811 Tasqueña Avenue. Then the name of the neighborhood. San Francisco Culhuacán. And the zip code. Coyoacán 04420. Here you have some formal and informal phrases to write an invitation. 
you start with a greeting, then write the invitation phrase, and end with a closing phrase. Here you have some formal and informal phrases to accept or decline an invitation. Begin with a greeting. Then write your reply accepting or declining the invitation. And end with a closing phrase. Let's review. Remember that an invitation must have an invitation phrase, the name of the host or hosts, the type of event, the date and the time, the place and address, and the RSVP. Now, I've got a challenge for you. Make your own invitation. Imagine that you are having an event. It could be a birthday party, a sweet 16 party, or a graduation party. Enjoy the activity and be creative. See you soon.